when the Bible says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, here's what you're going to find. This will upset some people listening, and that's okay. Most of those embracing an ungodly agenda right now, are, you see, like, how can Christians do that? I've noticed, unless you can point someone out, these are those people who are not in the Word. Their Bible is not their gauge of truth. They're not, they're not humble and broken before God and, look, look, and God and looking at the Scriptures for their truth. So they're actually conformed to the world. They look like the world. They talk like the world. And that's why they're challenging you because their mind is not grounded in the Word of God. Now those who are grounded in God's truth, grounded in God's Word, those are the ones who are being transformed by the renewing of their mind. So you have kingdoms colliding. You have mindsets, the worldly mindset that said, unless you get behind this movement or do exactly what I do or, or don't do or whatever, this, this worldly mindset is infiltrating many believers. And those who are filled with the truth of God's word are having, taking a different stance. Correct? So this is, what I, this is what I, why I say it, and I will continue to say it. If the majority of the secular media is on your side, and Hollywood is on your side, you might be on the wrong side. <laughs> just, just throwing that out there. So you have all these stars, entertainers, and, and, and backing this whatever is happening in our nation. And Christians are on that side. It's because they're being conformed to the world. They're following. They don't know what the Bible says. So they say, yeah, let's, let's, let's do this. Let's, let's get justice and let's go protest. And let, but they don't know what the Bible says. Listen, I'm all for protesting. I'm all for a highlighting a racism and civil unrest. And we're praying for that. We, we, but we believe that leading all types of skin color to the Lord is the answer. Leading policemen to the Lord is the answer. Leading correctional officers to the Lord is the answer. Leading inmates to the Lord is the answer. I've told you before, right now we have 150 inmates listening to the messages in California State University over in, in uh, California City. Where they write letters. We correspond with them. That's how you're changing the heart. You can't go upset and get upset at groups and start burning things and writing and expect that's going to change the heart. Correct? I mean, let's just think about this for a minute. All this is going on, right, about social unrest, and we've got law enforcement here today, and we've got uh, all kinds of, uh, felon, ex-felons are here today. Did you know that? We've got all kinds of people, that's the church. So do you, here's my question. Do you think rioting, protesting, burning, doing all this stuff, do you think there's policemen at home repenting and saying, oh, they're right, I need to change? No, you are infuriating. You are fueling fear. You are fueling anger. That's not changing the heart. I believe in protesting because it's in the Constitution and it's allowed to peacefully assemble and, and, and release your, 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 your anger and, and, and protest and make things come to light. That's okay. But how we're handling things, this is not going to change the heart of a nation. It's not a skin problem, right? It's a sin problem. So you have to hit this head on. You have to talk about these hard things. And you have to confront it. D don't you? We have to confront things. We have to be able to have this dialogue. One side wants all the dialogue and for me to shut up. That's not dialogue. That's capitulation. We're supposed to be gentle and understanding and listen. But you also have to let me speak what we believe the Bible principles speak into this issue. But see, you can't anymore. You think for one minute the news would pick up what I just said. No. Because they want to silence Truth. Unless you agree. See, dialogue is over. Have you ever heard that word? Dialogue, debate, let's come together, let's hear both sides. Uh-uh, it's over. It's coming to an end. What's coming now, Shane? Well, unless you agree and bow your knee to my mindset and shut your mouth, you are whatever. Racist, bigoted, white, right, right wing, narrow-minded, arrogant, uh, apathetic. All, I, all in one week I've been called these names. Because you won't simply embrace the world mindset. And that's the truth. And then you'll get emails, right? Mainly, a lot of millennials, they're upset. They're upset. They, here's what cracks me up. They can smoke dope. They can fornicate. They can get drunk. They can look at pornography. And that, they're going to lecture me on what the Bible says. They have a form of godliness. They have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. What is a form of godliness? 
My God lets me do what I want, when I want, how I want, to who I want, and I have no I have no accountability to anyone. That's the God I embrace. That's a form of godliness. Doing good things, but with a wrong heart. 